Animals can be found in all regions of the Earth, from the icy Antarctic to the open plains of the Serengeti. To help them survive in their environments, many animals form groups. So how can forming groups help animals survive? Some animals that live in cold habitats form groups to stay warm. Emperor penguins live in one of the coldest habitats on Earth, the Antarctic. Temperatures get as low as negative 50 degrees Celsius and there are very strong winds. The penguins huddle together in large groups to keep warm. They rotate between being on the inside of the group, where it is the warmest, to the outside of the group, where it is the coldest. When animals form groups, they can increase their chances of finding food. It may also allow them to gather more food than they would as individuals. The gathered food can be shared amongst the group. Groups of insects, like ants, are able to search for food over a large area. When members of the group find food, they signal to the other members of the group, directing them to the food source. Lions often work together in groups to catch and kill their prey. When caught, the prey is shared with all of the group members. Some African herbivores, like zebras, gazelles and wildebeest, live and move about in large groups to evade predators. When under attack as a group, there is a greater chance of survival for the individual animals. Moving in large groups also confuses predators by making it hard to focus on just one animal. Living in large groups often makes it easier for animals to find a mate and reproduce. Older members of the group can also help in raising each other's young. This allows time for different members of the group to go off in search of food, knowing their young are kept safe. Living in groups also helps the young animals learn from other members of the group. They may learn to hide from predators or hunt for food. Young animals in groups often play with each other. In doing so, they develop the skills they will need to survive as adults. What are some other examples of animals forming groups? How does living in a group help the animals survive? See you next time! Don't forget to subscribe!